friends, Tony here, welcome. In this video, I'm going to take a look at this Laravel data package from Spotty. And for that, I have prepared a project. And this project is uh, using uh, Breeze and React as the starter kit. So let's go and register here. As you can see, we have a link for post. So we have a post grad. Right now, we don't have any post, but we have this link to create a new post. Let's use, let's see first the validation. We have a validation. And of course, if I add more, uh, less than four or five characters here, we have the content field must be at least five characters. And if we add more, we can create this. We have the edit. And the same thing here. If I just add three, update, we have validation and so on. So we can say just up the update. And now we have up here. Good. Let's see the code. If I open first the web routes and start from here, I have registered a new route on this group. So route resource post using the post controller, open the post controller. And here we have the index method, which return the inertia render post index component, passing the post using this post resource. So if I open the post resource, we have the ID, we have a title and we have a content. And then on the create, we just return the post create. I'm going to show you all the components on the store. We use this post store request. Here we just we validate the data, the title and the content. And we say out user post create because we have a relationship between the post and the user. We have a show of the edit post, returning the post edit component and passing the post data using this post resource. On the update, we use the post update request and here the same as the post store request and same post update request all. Okay, now let's see. Let's go to installation of this package. You can run the composer requires party slash Laravel data and you can also publish the config file if you want. I have installed this package, so let's go to quick start here and we have an example of post data object so i'm going to copy this and create a new file in our project and i'm going to create that in the app directory so let's say a new file and this is going to be inside the data directory and i'm going to name it post data okay you can name it what you like so post data php and uh, this is a php file and i'm going to paste that in Let's close this. I don't need the status and the published ad because if I open the post model, I have only the title and the content here and the user relation. Uh, I'm going to add also the ID here. So the same thing we have on the post resource. ID titled content, ID titled content. Okay, now let's use this post data in the post controller and let's start with the index method. Here we can use post data in, instead of post resource. So I'm going to comment this and let's say post. Now let's use a post uh, data. So uh, let me just, I forgot to add here the namespace to be up data and let's save now let's say post uh, data here and we don't have a collection but we have a collect method here and we can do the same thing we can say out user post and now if i save this come here and if i refresh everything works if i see inspect the element and go and see the console yeah, works. Oh uh, yeah, I need to also show you the post index component. So let's start with post index. Here we have the export default function post index. We destruct the out, which is coming with the inertia and post because on the index method we pass the post. And then I have created a post type, so type post and passing the ID number, title, string, and content string because I use TypeScript. 
Okay, I have created this cost header because I want to have this uh, link here. So div with some classes and heads to and the link. And then we use the authenticated layout, pass in here the user and the header. And then we make a post map. As we can see, we have post dot map, not post dot data. So when you use a post resource, you have that dot data, but because I don't like that post data, I have added on the app service provider on the boot method this post resource without wrapping. Okay. And then here post map display in a single post, adding also the key post ID and displaying the title and the content of that post and also the link to navigate the slash post slash ID slash edit. I'm going to show you also the post create. This is a copy of the register component. Here we distract the out and then we distract the data set data post processing and errors from the use form object. And here we pass the title and the content and then the submit method. First we event dot prevent default and then we say post. Okay, so this post passing here the route post store. We have the authentication layout, so passing the user and the header. And on the form on submit, we use this submit method. On the form, we have the two divs with uh, input label for title, input text input for the title, and input error for the title. And the same thing for the content. Okay, the same is also for the post edit just here on the post edit we have also the post data so we distract the post data because on the edit method we pass the post data here and the post data we assign the type post and then we distract the data set data put not post okay so on the create we distract the post on the update we distract the put and then we say title to be equal with post title, post data to title and the content post data dot content. Also the same method, but just here we use put. Also the route is post update, pass the post ID. And here we have the same thing. Okay, now let's come here. And uh, everything works, but let's see why we need to use post data over the post resource. And I'm going to navigate to the store method. Also here we can use the post data and where instead of the post request we can use the post data. So let's say post data dollar sign post data and here when we say request all we can say post data to array. Okay and the first thing I want to see is if we have a validation. So if I say store we have by default validation here and we use a post data. Now why we have this title field is required and the content field is required because on the post data, on the construct method, we use public integer ID, string title. So all of them are required. Now, what if uh, I add the content less than five characters? and say store. Yeah, we have an error because if I inspect the element, go to the network and let's say store, we have the error for the ID. So the ID field is required and that's it because here the ID is required, but we can make this optional by adding a question mark here. And now let's save and let's refresh. I'm going to close this and if I use fake filler, but now let's leave only three characters on content. If I say store, it's going to create that with only three characters. And we need the same validation we had with the, so let's open that post store request. So the same thing. And what we can do, we can copy this and let's go to post data and create the same method 
but this is going to be a static method. And now, because we have added the public static function rules, title and the content to be the same as the post store request, let's go and try one more time on the create. First, I'm going to say store. Yeah, we have required if I fill the content, but the content is less than five characters okay so here we have min five if i say store now now we have the validation works so we can put the validation logic in here if i add five store now it is going to create that okay so we used the post data in here we can use also on the show but let's use it here on the edit so post data new instead of new post resource passing the post we can use the post data and saying from passing the post now if i save and refresh if i go to edit this yeah we have here also let's see we can use that post data and the update as well so post data dollar sign post data and here update passing the post data to array and let's see if i come here and refresh i'm going to say up here update we have up let's go and remove this and say an update yeah we have the content field must be at least five characters if i remove this one and say an update we have the title field is required so the validation works and we can say for example uh, first title and say update and we have here first title okay friends this is a uh, quick overview how to use the laravel data package and we can use that as a resource or also as a request in our project. And here you can read more. So also you can add validation, uh, skipping validation, mapping property names, creating a transformer. So you can see here interface and many more use cases you have here. Also, you have commands to create a post data. So PSP artisan make data, post data, or the name you want. Passing also the namespace. And that's it all about this uh, quick overview of the Laravel data package. Now, if you like such videos, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like the video, share with your friends, and see you in the next one. All the best. Thank you very much.